Super Neptunia RPG on the PS4. Okay, look, I'm getting into it now. <laughs> I, I'm kind of getting into it now. Here's the thing. Previously on uh, Super... Super Dimension. Previously on Super Neptunia RPG, we picked up Blazing Chrome right here. The platinum-haired uh, mage, I guess she is. As she joined us in the middle of a boss fight, we're going to have to spend some time figuring out how she operates. Like, how she can... How her attacks and skills can synergize with our heroine here at Neptunia's. We've, what have we already done? We've completed these quests. We don't have a meteorite. We need to get 5,000 credits, so we'll work on that. Well, I guess we'll get it back at some point. Get that vitality nut. Uh, let's see. We need fish guts and crystallized sweats. We'll work our way in that direction. So I'm glad I, I'm glad I made a beeline for the crystal save point inside the volcano and I'll show you what I mean in a second because once you get to a safe point you can fast travel there and that's where we go to level up and practice with these characters so I'm gonna do that but most of this video is gonna be me practicing with these two characters since it's since I have a new one I want to see what else I can learn I have why am I not getting any potions this is absurd uh, hide and seek kids are still playing outside yeah, yes, yeah, the second character I'm supposed to be able to use. Let me see what's going on here. Can I switch characters here? No, I can't. Okay, but while I'm here, let me do some uh, organization here. I'm going to get in formation. Okay, so this is our main formation here. Since the beginning of the game, I've been using the strike formation. I only had Neptune in my party. But now that I have Chrome in my party, I have a support character who I can control by pressing the triangle button instead of the square button that I've been using throughout most of the game, throughout the beginning of the game. In this formation, Neptune will do her Drain Edge attack, which actually, excuse me, which steals HP from enemies every time she attacks. It inflicts physical damage on one enemy and recovers HP equal to 5% of the damage that I inflict. Which is fine, because it allows me to get my HP back. So I don't have to use potions or anything like that, or cure spells. In the back... Let me just mention this. So when I'm in the front, I use that Drain Edge skill. When I'm in the back, I use the Area Edge skill, which attack inflicts physical damage on all enemies. So depending on the formation that I'm using... I'm able to execute different attacks. The game allows us to press L1 or R1 in a fight to switch formations. In this case, I'm able to put Neptune in the back, put Chrome in the front, and when I'm in the back, in the support role, I can inflict physical damage on all enemies. So that's going to be what I do from now on. I'm going to try and practice with these two and see what I have to do to get my HP back if I need it, or just attack an enemy right away if that's, all, if that's what I want to do. Uh, what else can I do? Uh, press L1 or R1 to switch to Chrome. In the, in, in the strike formation, she's in the back. She does this ice damage on one enemy, but I don't want to do elemental attacks. So if I'm in my traditional strike formation, I will... Again, when I'm in my traditional formation with Neptune's in the front, she's going to be in... Uh, Chrome here is going to be in the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... See. Area edge. She can do area edge, right? Yes, she can. So if she's in the back, she can uh, attack everyone. Uh, let's see. Encouragement. That's a support skill. And since we've already mastered these skills, that's probably why I'm able to equip them. Okay. And when she's in the front, we're going to do a water bind. That's a support attack. She should have a, a cure ability. We'll, we'll give her a cure skill in a second. Okay, inflicts physical damage. So when she's in front, let's have her do a normal attack, it looks like. Elemental magic. Omni might. This sounds interesting, actually. Should we have her attack everyone or just one? Well, she's in front. Let's have her do the area edge. 
when she's in back, she can do the Omni Might, which is magic from the back. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Let me clear something up. See, see, when Neptune's in front, that's our strike formation. Let me switch something here. Okay, so when Neptune's in front, that's our strike formation. When Chrome is in front, that's our mixed formation. You can see the attacks that are being done. We just do area attacks in the mixed formation. And here, in the strike formation, we use Drain Edge. Now, I should probably set up a Cure ability here. and Let me see if I can work that out. Because I like the ability of being able to... Uh, I like the idea of being able to uh, get our HP back no matter what. So let's see if we can abuse that. Skills. Can't do that. So only one of us can use Cure? Yes, yeah, only Neptune can use Cure because she's, she's wearing the glove. Look at what's going on. She's wearing the glove. She can do this. So she's in the back. How about we have her cure the other character? She can cure herself or she can cure an ally. So I like that. So if she's in the back, she can cure people. If she's in the front, she can cure herself. Okay, area edge when she's in the front. On the amount when she's in the back. So she can attack, she can always attack multiple enemies at once. So Chrome is always gonna be able to attack enemies at once. In the back she uses magic. In the front she uses physical attacks. So in the front she'll attack everyone with a physical attack. In the back, she'll do a magic attack on everyone. Not elemental. So this is our mixed formation. When Chrome's in the front, it's mixed formation. When Chrome is in the back, it's our strike formation. Fine. Now I'm starting to make sense of it. Okay. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a one hour video no matter what. Silver crown, I'm not wearing anything else. So she has the cure ability. Poison edge, support, and glacious edge. I don't even need that. Great justice. Area Edge, Encouragement, Omni Might, Water Bind. She's already learned Ice Bind. Auto Evade doesn't sound terribly interesting. Earth Bind and Shell. This is objectively a better bangle. Hey, what does this three mean? You see that? It says one and it says three right there? I don't know what that means. She's already mastered that. Do we have, we have three of them? Oh, okay. So that diamond means that's what we've already equipped. Okay, if there's a diamond next to the bangle, it shows we're equipping it. Let me check my skills. I might have, have de-equipped a skill I shouldn't have. Trap her belt. She can't use Glacius. So we gotta give her a belt. So we'll find a belt for her. Can anyone else equip this skill? Well, we're gonna let her learn this. She can't equip anything else right now. It is cute, though. I like that. Okay, so let's give her a new belt. And let's see what else. Switch characters. Silver crown. Can't wear anything else. So both characters can wear the silver crown. In fact, let me see if I can uh, give that to her. Can I just take it off? Yeah, anyone can wear the trapper belt. How do we just take it off? Okay, this is kind of getting annoying. You tell me I can't. You tell me I can't take off the silver crown. If I have to buy another item, did you tell me I can't just take it off? See, that's weird. Let me let me do a little practice here. It's driving me nuts. Yeah, she's the only one who can wear that. Okay, that's fine. So I can't, that is so bizarre. So I can't just switch items? I can't just de-equip an item that I'm carrying? That's weird. I'll figure this out. That's unfortunate. Okay, this is gonna be really annoying. Party. I'm not gonna do anything like that yet. Area edge, on me, my drain edge, cure. So we're fine here. 
So I'm probably gonna have to equip something else so I can swap. I do so I have to buy an item just so I can swap them out? How stupid is that? Armor shot. That's probably that's probably carry an item with me just so I can swap them out. You just say that makes no sense. So neither one of these ladies can equip this. Okay, and Chrome can't equip either of these. Dark belt. Darkness! So we can both carry that. Not very strong, though. So I gotta waste all this money just to buy something just so I can swap items out? That makes no sense. That is bizarre. Why would that be a thing? I have to figure out what's going on here with that. Gauntlets. So I was trying to get her a belt, but none of the belts we have seem to be any way useful. Why would I need... So I don't need that. Anyway. Does the game tell? Yeah, because this tells us how many we own. Okay, so we have three bangles. That's what that meant. We currently own three of these bangles, but only Chrome can wear them. So we can just sell two of them. Actually, I think that means we they have three in stock. No, we have three in stock, so we can sell two of them. Yeah, that's what's going on. That's what the three meant. So only one person can carry them. So let's uh, sell one. Of them. We can, we can switch if we have to, that's fine. We'll take that cash. Bye. Glacious intelligence. How much of an intelligence bonus is it? I'll keep that for later. Simple gloves give you cure, of course. Regen. We definitely should get regen. I thought I had a. I thought I had a thing that gave me regen. Let me see if someone can wear that. Okay, so the regen I can't I can't use regen at all. That's weird. Cause uh, Chrome can't wear this, so I can't learn regen from that. Okay, that's strange. Cause I remember remember when I was wearing this uh, regen early. I was trying to wear that bracelet earlier and had it, I wasn't allowed to learn regen because it was grayed out. So I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, friendship wristband. Well, yeah, she can wear that, but she's still learning something, right? Vitality bonus. So I kind of want her to learn this. We'll keep this one for later. We'll buy this one now. We'll wear it later. So I couldn't find a single belt that has anything useful I want to learn. Want to resist darkness? Stone cliffs. Again, this doesn't seem terribly useful. I think Valkyrie Profile 2 had this, where you like learn skills from particular weapons, something like that. I'm trying to remember. I have videos of Valkyrie Profile 2 scenario if you're curious. Which is not a bad reference for this game to make if that's what they're doing. So I need another belt. Wait, does she have a life bonus? Okay, she needs a life bonus skill then, okay. Let's see if we can give her one. But she's carrying an item, right? Let me check on that. She's learning Earth Bind and Shell. So she can't learn Regen. I don't know what's going on with that. Ignis Edge sounds like a fire enhancement. Fire and I will go back to that later. So what do I want to learn? I definitely want I want to learn the uh, life bonus. Seems like a good idea. I can't switch. I want to take this off. How do I take it off? Like, why can't I take it off? That makes no damn sense. I can't think of a single reason why I can't remove an item that I'm carrying. Why should I be? Why can't I swap with another character then? What? 
I don't even know anymore. It's just so bizarre. So I have to buy an item just so I can swap them out? How much money am I going to waste doing that? You just say! Didn't I sell you an item once? Can't you sell it back to me? <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go through this. I'm not gonna sell an item just so I can. Mata kite kureyo na. That would be the stupidest thing ever. Of all the, wow. Of all the things, <laughs> I can't even begin to imagine why anyone thought that was a good idea. Here's the gill. <laughs> so we'll get some combat later. Right? <laughs> oh, Come on, come on. Come on, come on. イストワールは持ち主が仲間と出会うと教えてくれる。私には必要ないから、お前にやろう。重要アイテムっぽい。大事にします。仲間か。やっぱり勇者には必要だよね。序盤しか使えないような中途半端な仲間じゃないといいな
elemental damage, okay. So does that mean they're weak to physical attacks? Do I gain AP back as well? I don't know. I like that idea, anyway. Konnichiwa. One, formation. This is going to make a lot more sense now. Yeah. Mixed formation, various skills, heal formation, skill for if you remove sass effects, yeah. Sounds interesting. Konnichiwa. Battle types. Okay, battle start. Depending on whose AP fills up first, okay. If you slash towards an enemy symbol, the enemy attack. If you if you hit one of the enemies that's wandering around the dungeon, it'll become a symbol attack, so we get the initiative. Surprise attack if an enemy runs to you from behind. With a symbol attack, a bonus will be added to the party's AP. With a back attack, a bonus will be added to the enemy's AP. Okay, makes perfect sense. Konnichiwa. In case we know that. So I guess this is, this is the Games Explained video I'll end up doing later, huh? Break attacks. Break gates will fill when you attack an enemy. You can break an attack. You can attack any time. Break gates will set between battles. When a certain amount of break gates fills, you can use a special move break attack. Use the L3 button for that. You can use a break attack when one bar of the energy when the break gate is filled, and the gate can be filled up to four. So the battles are self contained in that sense. And then you select an item when you wish. If you press the options button, you can display the menu. Battle will pause. Switch between items, escape, and information. Oh, what information? I thought you had to press the trackpad for information. It displays the stats for your party and the enemy. So that you wish to escape from a battle. Oh, I see L2. It's for status. L2 and R2 are for status. Now yeah, I'm just going to use the items I wish to use. Fine. Can't wish, we can just skip, can't wish we can just skip in between each tutorial slide, you know what I mean? Item use. Change the category of the item you want to use during battle. Yeah, this gave me some interface polish. It's kind of a mess. So once you escape, you can escape from battle after a set time. When escaping, you'll be attacked by the enemy, so be careful, okay. After selecting escape, attacking an enemy will be considered canceling it. Answering battles cannot be escaped. I think it's like five seconds before the enemy attacks. Five seconds before you can escape, I want to say, so the enemy can attack in the meantime. You will cancel escaping by attacking an enemy. Okay. Konnichiwa. Okay. Buff, debuff, and elementals. Resist increases resistance to a... Uh, oh, I think I saw an icon like that earlier. Absorbs. Okay, resist, absorb, wall increases physical defense, shell increases magic defense. Five. You can see the icons on the screen. This is the rate at which the AP gauge fills. Regen recovers, gradually recovers HP. Evade increases the rate of evasion. Buffs in the stats increase temporarily. Okay. Disappear after a certain time, of course. Konnichiwa. Debuffs. I don't know which... I think 8 was... Yeah. During my last fight, number 8 was the debuff I had. So yeah, I was blinded temporarily. Again, I had no idea what it meant because the game didn't tell me what any of this crap meant before the fight. <sighs> I'm going switch formations. This might be a Residence of Fate situation where the game might end up being good, but the tutorial isn't that helpful. It's somewhat helpful, but not terribly so. Where's the which AP gauge fills? Goddess gauge will no longer increase. Let's so get a virus. Goddess gauge. Bind means you can't switch formations anymore. Stun you can no longer move. Doom account at zero, you'll be KO'd. Poison. Let's see. Obliviate, which means all skills become normal attack. That's cute. Because I have a focusing powder in my inventory that lets me remove that status. Before you gauge no longer increase. Buffs lower the skills temporarily. They can move an more skill, of course. Kind of weird how the music changes every time I leave the menu. Let me go back a bit. So I already did these, right? Yeah, elemental. That was the part. Yep, these. So I already know that part. Formation. 
check the contents of the bonus within the menu. Formation rank will increase with experience earned from battles. But it takes a long time, apparently. And you can also earn bonuses with regard to your formation depending on your rank. So does that mean depending does that mean the formation that I'm using during the fight, or is the formation that I'm using when I win the fight? Because they can switch formations at any time. So I'm curious to know when that levels up. Formation rank will increase with experience points from battle or formation points. So maybe both increase, I don't know. Mission points can be earned depending on each enemy's formation. So not my formation, but each enemy's formation. <laughs> anyway. Let me check that skill set. So that was the skill set. Huh? So I guess we're done. Yeah, we already know. So we're done. That's everything there is to know at this point in the game. Oh, here we go. Save points. Walk to places previously visited. Wait, gems? Okay, here we go. Dungeon map. Yeah, we know that. That we've already established. Magic stone, magic stone switch. Yeah, we already established that. Action. Uh, move, jump, talk, and search. Yeah, we know that. This is basic stuff. Konnichiwa. So, so it keeps making me go back to the beginning of the menu tree. They, they shouldn't really have cleaned this up. You should be. It should be one book. It's like an encyclopedia or a glossary. You should be able to read everything, no matter where you are. Even in a dungeon, you should be able to read this from the menu screen. You should be able to read this later. Instead of having to come back here to figure out what any of this stuff means. Weird. Yeah, we already knew that. Equipment abilities, equipment screen. Equipment will not automatically equip itself. The equipment is fine. Uh, okay, but how do I sw how do I unequip what I'm carrying? Anything I'm going to equip so from the list. Equipment I have to display. Equip. So okay, it's fine. We know that. If the game has allowed me to take off an item that I'm wearing without replacing it, I'm gonna be upset. I should well, I'm like naked. I should be naked if I want. Like no no helmet, no belt, no gloves. But the game doesn't let me take anything off and give it to somebody else. I have to actually have a third item to serve as an to serve as a middleman just so I can take something off. What the heck is this, is this game doing? This is like basic, like, NES RPG level menu management stuff. What the heck? And so I'm, I'm, so I'm starting to understand all the things that are, are going to frustrate people with this game if that's going to be a problem. Okay, equipment and abilities. So I, it doesn't tell me how to take off an item that I'm carrying. So within equipment, there are skills and abilities. For learn, you can unequip the item and set the skill or ability. Okay, if not learn, you can unequip the item. Set skills and abilities are removed. Okay. So can I not take it off because I have a skill equipped with it? That's not true. Because I had that trapper belt, trapper belt. I had that trapper belt down there at the bottom. I learned, I mastered the glacier skill. No one's using it. No one's equipping it right now. So I should just be able to just take it right off. So what's the problem? When skill ability is not learned yet, but the skill ability no longer be set. Okay, if you've learned the item, then you can set it without having to equip the item. Okay, that that makes perfect sense. I understand that completely. Konnichiwa. It's not like the game didn't want to have to do clean up. The, I guess the game doesn't want you to remove items because you might have a skill attached to it. It doesn't want to turn everything off. Maybe that's what's going on. The developers couldn't figure out a way to make it work, so they tell you... Like, even Valkyrie Profile 2 lets you remove items, and then the game tells you if you remove this item, everything's going to be reset. That's fine. But don't just tell me, no, don't do this, period. Or at least just, uh, just set, like, a default uh, loadout that says, okay, boom, if you unequip an item, you go right back to this default setting with no skills equipped. Or maybe have so some kind of, you know favorite loadout where it's like okay if you de if this item is not available that requires a lot of uh that requires a lot of qa though that's the problem 
Like, if I'm not equipping this item, you have to give me some normal attack. Like, some normal loadout. That doesn't have, that's not attached to any item. That would just say, okay, if you, if you, this is your default loadout. No skills, no special attacks, just normal crap. That's not based on any specific item. Now, it means, it means your, it means your inventory management's going to be a lot more complicated. But at least it gives you something to fall back on. But don't just say, don't just tell people because you can't unequip an item. I should be allowed to wear nothing if I, if I want. So that's just weird. Because I'm going to equip, that's not from the list. So yeah, the game gave me a Deku stick at the beginning of the game. But now I can't, now I can't get rid of it. Now I can't take off what I'm carrying. It's weird. At least give me a default item that I, can, that I can't sell. Because I sold my Deku stick already and now I can't buy it back. What was I wearing at the beginning of the game? That's what I don't understand. Konnichiwa. I know I'm ranting at this point, because this, this, this sounds like something they should have fixed. Maybe they can patch that up, I don't know. Konnichiwa. Quest. Yeah. Uh, completing the objective of a quest for any rewards. You can accept the quest if later by speaking with them again. If the quests are being accepted, it will be displayed, but you can't cancel an accepted quest, so why would you cancel it? I don't know. You can always Konnichiwa. activate a quest by talking to the person if you don't have it, but... Anyway, abilities... Okay, that's it. I've already established that. Konnichiwa. I'm getting lost here because I get in the menus. Everything is like three levels deep. It's, Konnichiwa. A it's a stupid menu system they got going on in this game. Everything's... Again, just have one big menu and let people jump to, you know, a table of contents or something. Don't do this. Why would you do that? Uh, this ability you can set. You can set abilities depending on your ability points. You can check your abilities are comfortable with them. Maximum amount of ability points will increase depending on your Some of your ability points, okay. But again, I can't give Chrome that, uh, that life boost ability because I can't remove the crown, I can't remove the belt she's wearing. I can't switch my belt with, with her crown, which is what I want to do. I want you to take off my belt, give it to Chrome. Chrome will give me her crown, we can swap. But the game won't let me do that. It won't let me take off what I'm wearing either. That's the other problem. So again, I'm gonna have to buy, at least let me buy something cheap, just so I can swap and sell it back. But that, ugh, why do they do that? That's the end. I don't need the end. We'll get to some combat later. I just wanted to be able to establish this. Uh oh. Probably should have saved my game. Maybe they're Madden games. <laughs> FIFA games. I don't know why they make this game. It's not a game of Silk Worm. 評価の低いゲームを作った見せしめとして隊員たちが見せ先で暴れたんだろう。シルクアームの私の通りに似た仕様のゲームばっかり作ってたら、いいアイディアなんて出てこないよ。せめて新しいことに挑戦できたらな。
破壊することができたら解放されるという名目でな何それ簡単そうだねだがそれらは絶対壊せないようにできている収容された人々は皆最後には精神を病み壁の中にいるとしかつぶやかなくなるという話だガガガガブルブルシルクアームっておっかなかったんだねじゃあそのトップのフィリンって人もそうだな悪いやつだうーんされるところだったよ私お前も捕まったら即試練場送りだろうなお,お断りだよ<笑>こんなに散らばってちゃ一人で片付けるのは大変だおいそこの人手伝ってくれないかえー、私どうする手伝わないと武器屋に行くのに遠回りすることになるぞ仕方ない手伝ってあげようああ良い行いをするとちゃんと自分に帰ってくるからな、はあ、やっと終わった助かったよ少ないが気持ちとして受け取ってくれいやー勇者の階段を一段登れた気がするよその階段は宇宙までありそうだなフリーキャッシュオミそう、メイキンプログレスは、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、So I can go back to some previous、uh, set portion of the game if I have to. What's the next option here? Ready your equipment at the armor shop. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do that at some point. Okay, we'll, we'll get to some combat at the end. Don't worry. We'll get the chance to practice with all our goodies. Here we go, another cutscene. Koko a buki no mise da. Donna yo ken da? Etto, sai kyo na ken wo yusha wari biki de kape yasete kudasai! お前な装備はこれでいいなギルドに戻るぞ依頼を受けるんだえー、いきなり今の買い物で無一文になったからな<笑> I got money Oh I I bought that sword Does that mean I just wasted my money on a sword I didn't need to buy Anyway So、I got two of these now. Well, the problem is, I don't need a sword, I need another belt. Because I need to be able to take off that stupid belt. So, after all that, <laughs> at least I get to learn. So, I guess I can sell it. Can anyone else carry the Sun Sword? Nope. Only for Neptunia. Sorry, Neptune. That's unfortunate, really. You just say! So they gave me, so I guess I can just sell it, right? So now I'm afraid to sell anything because I won't be able to trade it out. <laughs> I guess if I need the money, I guess I'll sell it. But that, that, that annoys me. I say, I need, I need, I need a sword so that I can, so I can swap swords. If I need to swap weapons with somebody else. Problem is I can't swap with、uh, Chrome because she can't carry the sword. Yeah, I need another belt. I don't want to have to waste my time. So we're going to accept the hunt quest. I'm still mad about that whole can't unequip a weapon you're carrying unless you have another weapon to replace it with. Like, you must, you can't fight barehanded, basically. But at least give me, like, a default weapon, like every other RPG I've ever played. Even if, even if it's bare hands. Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy won't let you fight with your bare hands. Jeez. Look, I, I like this game. I seem to, I really like it so far. I kind of, I kind of did it. 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 I kind of did it.
But that's that's the thing. Sansok Hidden Gorogoro Stereo Dakede E Lai. Sansok Hidden Ski the Gorogoro Stereo Dakede E Lai. Sansok Hidden Ski the Gorogoro Stereo Dakede E Lai. Namono and I. Neptune. Hitori de Ite Koi. Of War for Consumer Report. Eh, Nante. Watashiwa Watashi de Yarukoto Maru. Jibun no Kuibuchi Kurai. Jibun de Kasege. Shakai no Joshi Kido. I have, I have 3,000 creds. I have plenty of money. <laughs> hey! Uh. Okay, I want her back now. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna advance. Uh, so I'm glad I saved my game, ha. Huh? Let's load that up. I wanna practice with her a bit. So we'll practice with her, learn some stuff, and then I'll be our excuse to level up. Okay, so we're not going to be able to advance the game until I uh, <laughs> practice with her a little bit. Star Ocean, uh, Integrity and Faithlessness did that too. The game just rips party members right out of you. Like Era, the Final Fantasy VII, we don't talk about that. And obviously Final Fantasy VI did the same thing. Terra kept disappearing from your party, it got annoying. It was a bit at that point. <sighs> I need potions. <sighs> So after all that, we're going to have to uh, practice here, but we're okay. We'll go to another save spot. So we'll go to another save crystal here inside the uh, Ratchet Volcano. <laughs> he has one more save spot down there we're going to investigate. So we're going to practice the combat, and we're going to get a chance to go to another save spot. So we'll see what's up. So I get a chance to play with Chrome a little bit. I believe the game tries to steal her away from me. I, I literally didn't get to fight. I only got to fight with her once. How embarrassing is that? What formation are we in? Okay, we need to cure people, right? We need to cure her. So we're gonna cure, um... Okay, tell you what. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you what. Let's start out with the regular formation. With this mixed formation, then we'll swap. I'll show you what I mean in a second. Because I'm gonna cure her. I'm gonna cure Chrome, then we'll swap formations. Triangle. Now we're switching. Now we're in normal formations. Let's do it. That didn't hit there. Myself. Triangle. Triangle. Yep, that's an area of attack. That's an area, that's an area of attack damage. Huh, she's taking damage. We got a problem. ね、ライドオリだ。行くよ。私が行く。私が行く。そう。トライアングル。ね、ライドオリだ。元気出して。私が倒す。私が倒す。私が倒す。私が倒す。私が倒す。私が倒す。私が倒す。私が倒す。私
R1 to dash in the air. You can, also, you can only dash once in the air, by the way. There we go. Okay, so now what we can do is practice a bit more. I turned down the voice of this. I want to make sure you can hear me. Because I'm more important at this point than they are. So be a little bit honest about that. We'll turn it back up again if we have to. Back to explain stuff. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Let's get into a fight. So we're going to start normal mode. Nep in front. Square. That's her drain attacks. So we're getting HP back every time we do that. It's a critical. So we're going to press R1. We get some more health back. So we're going to switch. Got me. Switch. There we go. So now we're going to attack her instead. Press the triangle button. And Nep will cure our ally here. We're going to press square so she can do an area of effect attack that attacks everyone. Okay, so you saw what I did there. When I was in the strike formation, Nep was in front. She does that drain attack every time she presses the square button. So she drains HP from enemies every time she hits them. This formation is the mixed formation. Nep is in the back, Chrome moves to the front. In this formation, Chrome does area of effect attacks. She does physical attacks on everyone in the enemy, every one of the enemies. While Neptunia, with the triangle button, can heal either me or herself. She can either heal Chrome or Nep. So she can heal herself or heal Chrome by pressing the triangle button when she's in the back. So in this formation, Chrome can attack everybody at once with a physical attack while Nep can hang back and heal us. When we go to the strike formation, Neptunia's in front, she can drain enemies, while Chrome is in the back spamming enemies with magic. She can attack the entire mob with magic attack if I press the triangle button. So we'll do that next time. Just want to give you some idea about how, what the uh, strategies are for each formation. So we gotta go this way. See what's going on in here. Here we go. Got the meteorite. So now I can go back to that kid, right? Before we do that, let's uh, practice a bit more. Okay, so that was a save point I needed. Seems like a weird space to put a save point, but hey, there you go. But then what is that quest? And again, this, this doesn't wrap around. So you have to keep going all the way over to the left or right. So it would have been nice if we could wrap around. Again, just inter just minor interface stuff, guys. Come on. The rest of the game seems fine. It's just that interface stuff. Kind of makes the game way more annoying than it should be. Report to Red. So he's in the West Wind Valley. So I have to teleport back to where he is. So we'll do that in a second. We'll get into a couple more fights here. Go to the West Wind Valley. Get into a couple of fights there. Okay, switch. Triangle. That's a magic attack. Switch, switch formation. Triangle. And Neptunia will heal. Chrome. Press square. This is a physical attack on both enemies. Not very strong, so we're going to have to swap. Okay. So neither of these attacks are very strong. Press the uh, trackpad. So I press the trackpad and press L2 or R2 to see what we have. Status. Uh, she absorbs lightning, I guess. Weak to darkness. And ice, I believe. I can't tell because I don't remember what those symbols mean. I think. But that black moon there, that little crescent looking thing, that's darkness. Now, I don't know what that blue symbol is next to the weakness icon. I think it might mean ice. We don't have an ice spell. And we can't, remember, we can't switch weapons during a fight either. Kind of a weird restriction, but okay. Hey! Yep, that does way more damage. We'll do that. Let's finish off one of them. And I can press up. I can use the left stick to choose which enemy I want to target. 
I'm gonna die already. I'm healing myself, so I'm fine. Now she's dead. Spot, triangle. Healed. Yep, she lost some health. Triangle. Okay, there we go. So now we're both we both have full health now. So I pressed the L1 and R1 button. So I, I, I pressed the formation button, the L1, R1 button, so that I could heal Crone. And then as soon as I did the attack, as soon as I healed her, I swapped back. So I moved Neptunia to the back just so I can heal us both. Just so I can heal Chrome. And then once I healed her, then once I healed her, I put Neptunia back in the rear. So put Neptunia in the rear so she can heal Chrome. Then put that Neptunia in front so she can use this drain attack to get her HP back. So it looks like the enemies aren't gonna target Chrome in the back at all. I'm shocked, Rowan. So I was abusing the uh, formation switch. So again, as you saw, put Neptunia in the back so she can heal Chrome. Then as soon as I heal Chrome, I put Neptunia back to the front so she can heal herself. With this, so she, she, she has that drain attack. So that allows me to get HP from enemies as I attack them. So again, a tiny bit of strategy here that I wasn't really expecting. Let's see Final Fantasy Seven. Let's see Final Fantasy Seven do that. <laughs> Final Fantasy X, even. That's why the only Final Fantasy game I can play right now is Let Lightning Returns. We'll see how it goes. Well, the only 3D Final Fantasy I can play. Well, Final Fantasy Attack is technically 2D, right? Okay, uh, let's see. 666. Six, six. <laughs> That's Chrome's HP right now, huh? Let me look at our uh, abilities here. Nope, can't take that off. I'm still upset about that. Area edge, encouragement. So are we on formation points? Yeah, we're fine. So this this particular uh loadout seems fine. So let's go back to that um, save point. We'll teleport out of here. Go to West Wind, whatever you call it. Yeah, here. So we'll fight with these two ladies. Then, uh, but I guess Chrome's gonna get bored with me. We'll practice a bit, learn some skills. I probably don't. Really, I probably don't want to get too attached to Chrome. She's gonna leave. Okay. I wonder if I can investigate. I wonder if I can investigate the West Wind Valley a bit more. Yeah, where is that kid? There's only one crystal save point here. Oh, he's near the boss. Yes, yeah, so he's up there to the top. He's up there near the top. Uh, just a second. Yeah, not him. There's supposed to be a meteorite here. Where'd it go? There it is, aliens. So he's in West Wind Valley, but it doesn't tell you where he is. We'll have to go there and get to him. Whoops! Careful. Well, let's, we'll have to get past these guys. It's safer. So they don't attack me from behind, basically. Okay, swap. Let's see if he's uh, weak to magic attacks from, the, from uh, Chrome's rear. Crazy. That's gonna be a problem, isn't it? See, that was easy. Wasn't so bad. Okay, formation points. I got two skill points. I drop. No point. No potions. Maybe they're inside treasure chests or something. I can't even get these potions anymore. It's annoying. Area edge. I'm almost gonna learn cure. Cause that means I won't need to wear these gloves anymore. Maybe I can give him the chrome. So I want to see. I want to see if Valkyrie Profile Two Silmaria did this. Switch. Triangle. Pretty good. So I'll just, I'll just use Neptunia with that drain attack. 
See, it's got a bit of meat on. This game's got a bit of meat on. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, yeah, up. Keep going to the right. No, we can't go to the right. Okay, because it's blocked by a wall that we can't see on the map. Can we go to the left, by the way? Let me say. Okay, so we can't go that way yet, anyway. So the game's still gating our content. Let me switch formations. Switch formations. Oh, so they can't attack her. Okay, swap, so they can't attack her, so we're gonna heal. Critical, huh? If I can heal both of us, it'll be fine. Heal myself. I don't have to. Okay, heal. Swap. Okay, so now that Chrome Chrome is not full. So I'm shocked. Chrome. Swap. There we go. Nope, wrong button! Okay. Never mind. He hit both of us anyway. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be picky about this. I'm just gonna if the enemies are going to attack both of us, no matter what row we're in, then okay, fine. I'll figure out how the combat works in that sense, because sometimes the enemies never seem to attack Chrome if she's in the back. Which I like, I just think it's weird. You! You got your crap. I'll take that cash on me. Uh, what would I earn? I got 200 credits and 400 experience isn't bad. I need to pay attention to how much experience I'm getting from combat because I haven't been making a note of that. I mean, you can see it obviously if you're watching the video, but I need to start paying attention to that. Uh, next experience level, I need a thousand more experience points. That's probably just the way to another town. There's no boss here anymore. By the Ratchet Volcano, okay. So that's the other way to the Ratchet Volcano. Remember, we can always teleport to the entrance. Yeah, I know that. So you're just here to teach me stuff. So let's fight some enemies and end the video. We'll practice, that's fine. Let's see how much experience I get for these for these attacks. I think this, I think this enemy is uh, resistant to physical attacks. Ow. Yes, he is. So that means we're gonna have to use Chrome instead. And that's not very strong. We don't have a fire attack. Triangle. Switch. We don't have a fire skill. So you might just need to carry around a, an ice spell just so we can, you know, just so we can fight enemies like this. Okay, because remember, I can't just resist it to he's resistant to magic. He's weak against ice. He absorbs fire. Oh, it tells us what each skill does. Okay, drain edge. Oh, that's my skill. Okay, but I can't. Switch. I, yeah, I can't switch. That's the problem. I can't switch uh, skills. Panacea. Hit him with a nice spell. We have a uh, crystal. Or something? I think we get these from enemies, actually. So I'll probably start selling these. Well, hit him with the ice. <laughs> It's water, actually, not ice. But hey, what are you gonna do? It's actually pretty strong. This resistant attack seems to be stronger than, um... Yeah. See, that back attack isn't very strong. So let's, do a, let's do a switch. What was that about? He's resistant to that, so we can't do that. So we can't hit him with physical attacks at all. So that means our strategy is to have uh, 
Chrome in the back, hit him with that triangle spell. When she attacks